Welcome to CRATS 101. I am Dr. Michael Scaff, Professor of Mathematics and Computer Science. For over 40 years I have been studying and, and playing the game of CRATS and the result of that experience has uh, uh, led me to write a book which is called CRATS 101 which is generally available at most bookstores including uh, Borders and uh, Barnes and Noble and Amazon.com and it is also available at my website, which is michaelscaffphd.com. I, as, as I have learned over many years of teaching that uh, students can read the book, can read a book or this book, and find it very difficult to still understand the concept of how, how something works or how something is played or whatever. So thus, uh, this uh, visual uh, look at the, at the book will hopefully make it more comfortable for the viewer to understand how to play the game. And I have found with the students that by seeing worked out examples, uh, it makes the written text much more clear. Uh, so we are going to uh, proceed then with a essentially uh, teaching you how to play this game and, uh, and take you through the various stages of, of how the game is played, uh, what's involved in the game, trying to make you feel comfortable so that if you do go to a casino, you don't want to feel like you're intimidated and, and when you see all the other people having lots of fun and doing lots of uh, exciting things, you can participate. Uh, so with that, I want to proceed to the first part of this video, which will be the background rules and the materials and things that are necessary to understand in order to play the game. Why do you want to play craps? Well, craps, first and foremost, is fun and exciting. It is one of the few games in which you have a chance to win. Clearly, most people want to play crafts because they want to win. Uh, there are no guarantees. Anyone who tells you that they can guarantee that you are going to be a winner uh, is just lying to you because there is no guarantees. The uh, house advantages bias everything towards the casino, and the casino expects to win. But does this mean that you can't win? The answer, of course, is no. Uh, in the short run, anybody can win if you follow some very simple and, uh, and, uh, and very understandable simple rules that I will explain to you. Where, some people get confused about the game, uh, the name Craps. Uh, where does it come from? Uh, uh, first of all, it was originated uh, probably with the Arabs and, uh, and then was taken uh, to France uh, with the French who brought it to this country and when the English defeated the French, uh, the French moved to New Orleans uh, and they uh, renamed it Krebs and, uh, and then shortly uh, thereafter it became Anglicized or Anglicized and it became, it became known as the game of craps. Uh, one interesting little footnote to all of this is that um, uh, there is a person called Thomas Crapper uh, who, who, who has been known for uh, inventing parts of the toilet. This has nothing whatsoever to do with a <laughs> game of craps. Uh, that is just an incidental uh, situation. One of the things to certainly remember about the game of craps is that you need to play the game of craps as if you were doing a game for entertainment. If you go to the casino with the intention that you are going to win a lot of money, you are going to be disappointed. Uh, think of it this way. If you go to a movie and you spend your money at the movie and you don't like the movie, you, will, you don't go back to the box office and say, please give me my money back. It is exactly the same way in the casino. You go to the casino with a certain amount of money and you say, uh, I'm either going to win or I'm going to lose. And there is the possibility you will lose. This is where you have to be intelligent about the management of your money uh, and, uh, and in doing so, you can provide yourself with an opportunity to be a winner. 